What's up guys? Today we're gonna be... Today I'm going to continue the series of forming the strongest nation possible. Don't look at the date. And we are going to form Russia. Some of you might be like, haha, you've already made a video of that. Well, I have not. I have not formed the strongest Russia possible in Hearts of Iron 4 yet. And that's because we have formed the strongest Soviet Union. But we have not been beaten, uh, but not defeated. Because of that, we are going to build some civilian factories in Akringsl. Oh no, wait, uh, Vladivostok. We are going to be building a lot of gun. I don't want tanks right now, I don't want trucks right now, I just want gun ships. Once again, we are Russia. Since we're Russia, we might as well exercise them. Get a little bit of army, air and naval XP. We are doing so well today because I'm feeling like shit. I shouldn't be recording, but that just makes the April Fool's joke so much better. There we go. Stalin has gone insane and we are going to unify the exiles and we need to keep Stalin happy. We are going to bump up to partial mob. We're not going to be expanding a lot. Concentrated it is. You can also infiltrate more useful territory. I like to go for Siberia just so that I don't have to worry about the weird borders. On this line you can always just take Tolkachi. The other ones are absolutely useless. We do need the army XP here. They shall train for longer. Which doesn't increase anything of the... It doesn't increase their stats, but we do get army XP. Eva Smilga. Soviet economist. Soviet economist doesn't really sound like something that I will need. Now let us create a new division. The backbone of the Soviet army, as I like to call it. A single anti-air division. And, well, I don't... I can't convert the NKVD, but I can convert you. I can convert you. The next thing I will try and see if it works out is sending all of my stuff to Spain. I don't think it works anymore, but I might as well try. The next one is expected after the civil war has started. We don't have anything in stock. <laughs> oh, we're missing two million guns. No idea where we put them. We are going to turn all of you into cavalry divisions. And now let's just try and snipe victory provinces. Nice admiral, a craven. Yes, perfect for a Soviet, I mean a Russian navy. You are my man. And we get our partisans. Only purpose, get VPs. And it looks like we got all of our stuff back. Nice, that still works. I just invoked a trauma of mine. I thought I wasn't recording. Yeah, let's just get more economy, I think. And let's train more horses. Yes, we get more decisions. And we can just deck on all of the nations that will pop out of Russia. Oh nice, they're actually producing anti-air equipment. <laughs> Since some of these divisions do have equipment. And whoa. What's going on with this one? <laughs> Let's see if we can cut off Karelia. What? Where'd you come from? Because we annexed you? Because we annexed Dagestan? Anschluss and we are still beating ourselves up. And a very useful thing for this civil war in particular, just walk around the Russians, the Soviets, they don't have as much brain power as you. Damn it, Karelia. I guess we might be able to take it, cap them immediately. Push, 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 push. And snake. For the Soviet tree, I never really know what to go for when upgrading the Air Force. It's just so many numbers, man. I can't be asked to read them. Yay, Union is gone. If I contest someone and we don't annex them and I forfeit, the Soviets will survive. So I have to be very careful here. Else this is gonna be very ugly. Wait, they're not using their points. They're not using their points. Interesting. I guess that's one way to fix the civil war. Then we are going to do a three-day war against someone here. Special operation, you could call it. And after that, we can take Khorka. It's the end of the second Russian civil war, but it's not really the end of the war. And as always, you can be stupid, keep Cheetah, can be Mimi and take Vladivostok. You can be RP and take St. Petersburg, or you can be smart and take Moscow because it has all of the supply. <laughs> it's the only logical choice, unless you want to LARP a little bit. And I don't feel like LARPing right now, because we are playing the strongest Russia that's possible. We don't even have a military doctrine guy? And you just march on to Tbilisi. Oh god, I'm, I'm getting way too historical right now. Tbilisi and then, well, this little... Slava Ukraini. If any one of you in Turkmenistan is watching, comment under the video. And then please also tell me how you're watching. Because 
What I don't know of Turkmenistan is, uh, well, democracy and freedom is not really a thing, sadly. And I think that's tr yep, that's the end of the Russian Civil War for real this time. And we're almost ready for World War II. We can rebuild the nation for repair speed. Let's take a look. Yep, not worth it. And minus three consumer goods. But Germany gets like what? Minus 20% consumer goods? That's fair paradox. That is very fair, considering how shit this- How fun this civil war is. Yes, how good. You should you should play this. This is, this is the strongest Russia you can have. Unless you let yourself be annexed by Germany and then released as Russia, I guess. And then we can finally play the game as it was meant to be played and start working on factories and such. The cool thing is we are now non-aligned. We can't do anything. Because Paradox says so. Yes, Return of the Tsar. And now, of course, as I said, we will go to the gamer side and start shooting this guy. Yes, Molotov Ribbentrop. Although, I don't know if I still have Molotov. I don't think I do. I think I shot him. The Soviet Volunteer Group. I don't know why it still surprises me. I don't know why anything in Hearts of Iron in a Paradox game still surprises me. Yes, let me send my Soviet volunteer group. And I just shot the Tsar and got a homeless guy instead. Although they probably both were homeless, just that the first one looked better. Now we can do some interesting things. What can we do? Wait a minute. I don't even have an agency guy. You know, whenever Paradox can't think of something in a focus tree, just let them invite South America to a faction that's gonna be good enough. Lithuania declared one. What have I done? They they went historical. Oh, we can join the faction of the Germans. Now I wonder, can we bypass this? Maybe. It's Hearts of Iron. There's a 50-50 chance that we can bypass it or it just doesn't work. Oh, nice, it got bypassed. The Tokyo Axis! <laughs> that thing will never work. Japan will always be in their co-prosperity sphere. That's a dead focus. It used to work, but now they will always have their co-prosperity sphere and that focus just won't do anything. We only have one rubber? That's such a weird number. <laughs> Intervention in the Americas. Bulgaria joined the Axis. That is exactly what I'd expected to see. Venezuela joins the Axis. Yes. The Dominican. Did I just say the Dominican joins the Axis? Wait a minute. Can you see? <laughs> what is this? I know, I know the focus tree is not worth doing, but this, this is a lot. I at least expected you to be able to invite people into your faction. That's not a whole lot to ask. The Germans are just fine. Hold up. <laughs> oh no, they're... I have an inkling. What's gonna happen? They might just kick me out of the faction once the focus completes, which I 100% would expect to happen. My true enemy, Guatemala. It will be if I ever make an A2C series. Right, let's form the third Rome, the true Rome. Nope, it's interesting that my navy is actually almost good enough. Let's get our Rome back. There's no port, I know, I will make it work. We're so behind in tech, man. The League of Nations, Nations has ended. Oh no. Huh? Why can't I call you to arms? I know we're in different wars, but we technically are in the same war. Yes. And now we can immediately go for anti-fascist raids. <laughs> and we can... <laughs> we can institute press censorship while we already have... Hold up. <laughs> I guess this worked. I hate that Free France can just annex Syria, so I'm just going to prevent that. Yes, another achievement for my Tinder profile. I just realized, what is this frontline arrow? <laughs> By itself, I think the focus tree is kind of nice, kind of cool. It's just, it takes way too long. It's 1942 and I probably need like one or two more years to be at a point where I would like to be at. You know, like in terms of technology, I'm way far behind. I completely neglected air forces. I wanted to build tanks, but I've not been able to yet. Plus 1% research speed, wow. That is definitely gonna fix my deficit. Now we can finally lose Kaut by Stalin. I don't know why you're still Kaut by Stalin. We shot him years ago. I guess they're still traumatized. Oh no, because of Legacy of Rome, I can't get no non-aligned down. <laughs> and you can't ban non-aligned parties because Hearts of Iron. Oh my god, uh, uh. 
What? I was so entranced by just existing. I didn't even realize that we were doing things. That is big. And because I declared war on Guatemala, we also have to push down to Guatemala. <laughs> now, just dump everyone over here. Above all else, I need a port here. Maybe a few more. And wait a minute, I lost, I lost one of the guys. The weekly manpower guy. I already don't have anything and I, already, and I still lost someone. Wow. All quiet on the Eastern Front, I guess. You see, that was a very funny reference to a movie that came out recently based on a called All Quiet on the Western Front, but we don't have a Western Front, so it's the Eastern Front, but nothing is happening here, similar to how in World War One, the Western Front only moved a few meters. Can I bypass it at least? No. Please just stay there. Please just bleep, 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 please. Or try and push. I don't think you can push in here. Uh, let's skip one division here. Gameplay! Oh, that hurt. Whatever. Oh, Greece is gone. 1933. 43. Oh, I got all of the land. No, I don't want all of that land. I have to hold it. Oh, we can probably do something funny here. Oh, yes. I don't know who ordered this push, but they have done an, a decent job. We're pushing them out of Anatolia. And if we get them out of here, we might be able to get them out of uh, Syria as well. And then we can take the Suez. And when we have the Suez, oh, oh my god, that's a lot of divisions. I mean, why would I? Thanks, I guess. I don't have any ambitions with your basing rights. Unless this was an innuendo, in which case, once we're done with the war. Wait, what? I mean, <laughs> okay, so. What happened? Because I went through the civil war, all of these nations were created as tags, which is why I can create the National Academy for them. However, I am not the USSR. I would be very surprised if I have the USSR Academy of Sciences as Imperial Russia. I guess the civil war helped? Still, why is it not the Imperial Academy of Sciences? No, uh, if Mussolini is gone, that means the civil war might happen any minute now. There we go. And our Academy of Sciences has increased, yes. In 1943, I will finally have research speed. Ah, we've lost Italy. I need more research speed. And all of the port divisions will now constantly attack here. So I have to give up this port as well. I should just stop using area defense. It's just not worth it. Just do it manually. Soon. Soon I can push. Build a port on every single province, man. <gasps> I have supply. A supply hub is doing its thing. Now I can push three more tiles and then I won't have supply anymore. Ah, oh, yes, finally. Uh, oh. They're just landing everywhere. I do have enough trucks and support equipment, so I guess I can give you logistics companies. Yep, they should be able to do some damage here. And if there's anything left of my air force, we can now uh, reform it and send it over here. There we go. Just get all of my fighters in here for pop-off. Air superiority, let's go. Two. Yes, they're already doing damage and that's not even the proper ones. Like the, the real, real, real proper ones. I guess it's just the power of Soviet engineering. I feel like they're starting to reach the limits. You're still at war with Ch I guess because of India and CM. But hey, at least the colonies are gone. Oh, the Germans are arriving. Nice. I'll keep one of these here. I should have sent more in there, I guess. But if we can keep that, then we've done some... Yes! We did damage here and we can, looks like we can also take more. So them just leaving this one tile exposed did screw them over. Uh, they are trying to take this tile, so I will try and pin for my allies to arrive here, please. Anybody? Oh, Fiumi does not have a lot of support either. I should be able to take that. Okay, no. That's also very risky. Imperial Conference, what? You actually went for that. I, I don't think the AI is smart enough to do it properly. But if they do, that's gonna be a trouble. Finally time to use the fanboy tanks. Boom, and circled, and circled, and circled. Right, uh, where to go with my tanks next? No, they landed in Trieste. Honestly, looks like we can push them up. That was so worth it for you. Just chucked 100k troops away. 
not that it matters for them. Oh, they are actually trading favorably and they have more manpower. I'm sick and I just wanted a quick game of Hearts of Iron, but I guess that was my mistake for thinking, yeah, um, a historical Russia game will be quick. Right, means to wage war. And we can get another research slot, although at this point I don't think it really matters. <laughs> I just got an interwar close. That's not made of aluminum. They are just... <laughs> I don't want to use that one. That one is just made out of rubber. <laughs> I don't have navy XP, I forgot. No. Oh, RT specialist, yes. <laughs> Six million. <laughs> what the fuck is the swarm? Because they can go through taxes now, yeah. They did not have a lot of stuff. And now we can also take out a very important target. Guatemala. Also, it's... Ah, right, they d never joined. They only joined in the event, but not in reality. Switzerland joined the allies. Oh, no. The entire... They're connected. All of the allies can now swarm into Switzerland. El Salvador? Because Guatemala is gone now? Another friend for our... Why did it capitulate to Japan? Whatever. And the US should be gone in... Ooh, what is that? Interesting. Never seen that. I guess I've been playing so long that uh, they had to <laughs> run a few commands. And if I bothered with thingy my jams, collaboration governments, I could actually have the US as a puppet now. Which would also be kind of cool. Which would be very useful actually. But I'll just take all of their dockyards instead. The US is gone. Oh, i like to see that. Canada is gone, yes. <sighs> I also didn't know that you got the night witches for real when you do the focus. So that's kind of cool. Oh, naval infantry. You know, I, I really have to admit, the Russian focus tree is kind of nice. It's way too long and, oh, I think we can actually, if I get my navy over there, we can probably finish them. Yeah, it's way too long and it's just late game hoy, you know, and late game hoy for is never fun. So we did lose six <laughs> This World War II is devastating. 40 million people. And that's only the soldiers. Oh, but I'm producing naval bombers so quickly. British Malaya is gone again. I assume that one was because Australia took hold over the colonial holdings, so they got it. Even though the Allies weren't holding them, so they were just released, because nothing is moving here. It's Hearts of Iron. All of my navies are arriving slowly and I'm losing submarines. I could just do this, but I'm not going to. Anybody who dies is not worthy of being led by me. Not enough manpower. Whoa, what happened to my manpower? Oh, they're all garrisoning the US, I think. <laughs> the planes are trading heavily. Most of the ones I lose are probably my naval bombers. Oh, we are going. I'm not going to save you. I will just pick a god and pray that it works. And we split the UK in twain. I love it when this happens. But if I don't have 5 billion war score by the end of this, then this is re- No. That is not fair. The Germans have done a lot, yes. But I have taken out the US. And now also the UK. I will completely admit that the Germans have held magnificently. You know, we've only lost Italy. Everything else, no other front line has moved. But that is not fair. I mean, yes, the new war score system is much better than the old one. But this one is not. Considering it's the fucking US. Oh my god, it's over. <laughs> I'm free! <laughs> Peter is a free elf! I will take the thing that I went to war for. Guatemala? And that's it. This is the worst, the weakest Russia possible in Hearts of Iron 4. Any of the old history paths, really. You're just so much weaker than normal Russia. But I do have to admit, that was kind of fun. It's more of an RP path instead of an actual good path. And a lot of the things are broken, you know, like this focus. You will never be able to invite Japan. This one just doesn't work. And then here you can form the third Rome, which is unaligned, but you're on a fascist path. And then if you take it, you can flip back to fascism, but it should be both. Or you should have an alternative for the fascist path. Otherwise, it's like, why would you ever go down here? You know, for example, you could 
move the pan-slavic nationalism over to fascism which would sort of make sense and then keep the third Rome for unaligned which would make so much more sense than not having any formable or you know like no real end goal like you can go to war with Japan you don't you know like I can also do that as unaligned I guess I had it coming wait a minute fair enough